It's been a hell of a roller coaster ride since all of us Sophian soldiers signed up for SoFi's flight to the moon. Within the past months, we've all been shaken up from a $28 all time high to just $12.02 per share before the big day. But little did we know that all the ups and downs were for good reason. Take a look at this chart on the screen. This is what you call a quadruple mountain, or in layman's terms, a mega Godzilla pattern. Now I know what you're thinking, but Wealth Gambit, that's not even SoFi's stock chart. If that's what you were thinking, you would be 100% correct. We did that to test you. But now to SoFi's actual stock chart. As you can see, it still actually resembles a dinosaur's back. If you're new to our channel, hello and welcome to Wealth Gambit. On this channel, we cover the latest stock trends and news. If you happen to like that type of content, be sure to like and subscribe so you're notified as soon as we upload new videos. Just for transparency, we're not financial advisors and this is not financial advice. So please always do your own due diligence. Starting the week with red, some of the big names in the fintech industry are getting absolutely wrecked as the market seems to not be vibing with inflation and rising interest rates. Down by 67% from its all-time high as of recording this, this largest buy now pay later consumer finance company is taking its fair share of a hit in the decline of the fintech industry. But the thing is, this firm has recently partnered with Amazon and Shopify and is said to deliver a 6,000% potential growth in the coming years as more users are expected to join. Upstart recently crushed the market's expectations in its overall revenue last year. With an initial estimate of $500 million, this fintech earned a total of $800 million last 2021. Now for SoFi. We've all been waiting for the bank charter, and now that it's here, SoFi is all set to fly as this final regulatory hurdle in becoming a bank has been accomplished. In Warren Buffett's investment bible, it was stated, the more the investor depends on his portfolio and income therefrom, the more necessary it is for him to guard against the unexpected and the disconcerting in this part of his life. In short, an intelligent investor must always be on guard against whatever is unexpected and underestimated. And apparently, inflation has been here to stay, the rising interest rates will definitely be a headache for Commander Noto and the other fintech pilots as it could cause a change in the way consumers spend, leading to a potential decline in the lending volumes for all the companies mentioned. SoFi finally securing its bank charter isn't the only thing making history as SoFi Stadium is making its own history as the stadium to first host an NFL Conference Championship game and Super Bowl in the same season. The NFL Conference Championship game will be on January 30th and Super Bowl 56 will be on February 13th and both of these huge events will be held at SoFi Stadium. These two huge national events will put the spotlight on SoFi Stadium and with the millions of football fans looking forward to seeing the game, SoFi Stadium will definitely make it into the living room of every football fan worldwide. While it appears that Black Friday has come early this year, ladies and gents, and judging from what we've seen in the comments from most of you, most of you have already blown through all your capital buying the dip thus far. For those of you who still have capital, let us know in the comments below will you be buying? That wraps up today's video guys. What do you think about this news? Let us know in the comments section down below. As always, if you found any value in this video, please share it with someone who you think would get value from it. And until next time, peace.